How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at Malwarebytes Premium. Now, this is what it looks like here once you download it. I will post a link on the description of the video where you can download a free trial. I think it's like a 14-day trial. Um, once you download it, this is what it looks like here. Now, it's pretty easy to use. Um, I like how it gives you a score here on the right, and you could boost your score by clicking on it. Basically, it's giving me a low score because I haven't done a scan yet. There are two types of scans. You can click on scan here, or you can click on the little um, icons here and do an advanced scan. All right. When you click on scan, let me go back. It had found something, but it's really not a virus. Okay, there it goes. So when it's scanning, this is what I like about this one, guys. When it's scanning, um, you can actually still go back use your scan scheduler if you want to schedule a scan you can look at reports that's pretty cool but before we go any further while we wait for that to scan let's take a look at what PC Magazine had to say about it because PC Magazine has some really good tests that they do on all the antivirus programs and they're very reliable they gave it a 4.0 excellent score guys uh, their bottom line is unlike its popular free edition which lacks real-time protection malwarebytes premium security is a full-fledged antivirus utility that captures malware on demand on schedule and on launch so 4.0 score from pc magazine that's really good guys the pros that they found top malware detection score and are enhanced on tests very good protection against malicious and fraudulent sites excellent scores from an independent lab and effective ransomware protection so that's good that it does protect against ransomware guys that's when somebody uh, takes your files and takes them uh, hostage and then asks you for money to give them back to you it's pretty bad stuff so it's good that it protects against that the con few features beyond basic antivirus we will take a look at that if you want more features they charge you a lot so malwarebytes premium is not cheap guys especially if you want the extra features they're going to charge you more and i'll show you that in a bit some scores down from previous review. So this is 2025 now. Um, Might have went down from 2024. These are the specs and configurations. On-demand malware scan. On-access malware scan. Does not have a website rating, which I think is pretty weird for a premium product. Malicious URL blocking, phishing protection, behavior best detection. Vulnerability scan is not there. And does not have a firewall, guys. That's crazy. Let's go down and take a look at the test results of when they uh, stress tested it. And it did really good, guys. So here's Malwarebytes Premium Security. Protection score is 9.8. All right, guys. Uh, detection was 99%. And malicious URL blocking is, is at 88%. It's fourth in the list here. Uh, first was VAS, then AVG, then Norton. Then, so we're looking at the fourth best antivirus program right now which is Malwarebytes Premium. And that's not bad, guys. That's not bad. Let's go back to the actual program itself. And here are the rest of the... Um, um, the rest of the stuff that you can do. But if you want to use extra features on it, you have to pay. Check this out, guys. If you want to use the VPN, you have to upgrade to... Um, I think it's Plus. Premium Plus, right? Which I think is crazy, right? If, it, if something's called premium, it should have at least VPN with it, in my opinion, right, guys? So if you want VPN, you have to upgrade. And if we want to take a look at here, uh, the one we're looking at right now is this one, the standard one, which is forty-four ninety-nine a year. And then if you want to use VPN, you got to pay an extra what ten dollars a year. And if you want everything else, then you have to pay double, which is one hundred and twenty years. Crazy stuff, guys. Crazy things are getting so expensive these days. It's ridiculous. But anyway, let's take a look at uh, real-time protection here. Protection settings, click on there. So web protection's on, that's on. All these are on. However, when you scroll down, make sure you guys turn these on, guys. Brute force protection on. Tamper protection on as well. Um, select the items you want to block others from accessing or make changes to, right? And then you do a password. We're just going to put in password password because you don't want people to come in or a virus actually come in and turn off your uh, your antivirus program so cool make sure you guys do that right there VPN of course like we said is um, 
not working, but you can set a password for it. Notifications. Oh, it's asking for the password. Let's put our password on there. Come on. It's running slow right now. Oh, there it is. So here we are. Now we can't use it because we need to get Premium Plus, right? We got a 14-day trial of the standard one right now. That's all they let you do. Um, so we can't really test out the VPN. It's still scanning. Now, if all you're interested in is being protected, Malwarebytes will do it. As we saw earlier, it's fourth in the list here, guys, as the best antivirus program that PC Mag has uh, reviewed. So, But anything else other than that, it's not. The VPN don't work. Um, Real-time protected. I get this from AVG Free. You can get this type of protection from AVG Free, guys. So, uh, in my opinion, I wouldn't pay for this thing. Instead, I would get AVG Free. Because AVG is actually up there. Look, it, antivirus AVG Free. Look, AVG Antivirus Free. It does better than this, guys. <laughs> All right. And I think that's it. Identity protection. Here we are. Discover your digital footprint. Click there, and it will see... Uh, what you have on the dark web i think it's going to ask for your email your name stuff like that uh you can also get identity theft with that with the upgrade i think with uh, premium plus or ultimate or whatever it was called um and that's about it guys really when we go to settings like we were there earlier that's it um that's it guys really not much to this program uh Oh man, I mean, PC Mag gave it four stars because it really does well, but the problem is it doesn't have nothing. All it has is antivirus, and you're paying. I would rather, like I said earlier, guys, I would rather just get AVG free instead of this. Um, but that's it, guys. Let's see how the scan's doing. The scan does take a while. 17 detections, huh? I know for a fact I don't have a virus, so it's probably just some... Um, some uh, probably like gaming tools that I use. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, PC Mag gave it four stars. I'm going to give it uh, three because of the price. Um, PC Mag gave it four because it, it's good at detecting. But like I said, there's free editions out there that are even better, guys. So yeah, I'm going to give it a three stars. Oh, there they are. So this is what, uh, what it found optional out of wear so i'm pretty sure those are not bad i'm gonna have to take a look at them um you get the option to quarantine okay, let's go ahead and quarantine them so we can see how that works so we can test this out boom there it is done and let's go ahead and try to boost our score here what does it want secure device and two quick steps strengthen your protection turn on firewall i thought it didn't have a firewall PC Mag said it didn't have a firewall. Oh, my own firewall. Okay, okay. Uh, install browser guard. Uh, it wants you to install their own uh, web. Uh, don't install that, guys. If you do, it's really hard to take it off. <laughs> but that's about it. All right. Now, nah, it's not really poor. It's just you want us to install your stuff. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this will, Malwarebytes Premium will protect you, but it's too expensive. There is a free edition out there that is better. Um, that's what I recommend you do. We get three, five, three stars out of five. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.